What is one stereotype about your country that is not true? <laughs> There's quite a lot of stereotypes and a lot of them are true. <laughs> Most of them are true. Um, Let's have a think. We love to queue. We don't love to queue. We just do it. Yeah. We don't yeah. enjoy it. Uh, the Finnish people don't like to talk much. That everyone is, uh, that everyone from India is either um, an engineer or a technocrat or something of the sort. So no, India is, is full of artists uh, which the rest of the world don't, doesn't get to see. Uh, that we were one people with a Russian, I don't know. Uh, they always say that the Ukrainian and Russian now is the same. Balalaika, Matryoshka, atomic bomb. I don't know what else, but uh, you, if you would like to have something, uh, if you would like to know something from my country, you, you need to watch um, uh, Hollywood movies, everything there. The stereotypes in Hollywood movies? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Even, even if we are, how to say, if we understand that we are living in the uh, internet, um, internet period, which everything can be found easily still we have something in american movies absolutely unbelievable i don't know what is it can you give me an example uh, uh red sparrow you know this film you know this movie red sparrow no. yeah, yeah. jennifer lawrence you can you can you can check it the the scenes that we we are in the movie like uh, the typical scenes like all the all the like negativity and, and all the bad images sometimes it's like already progressed already we already developed some of the some of the aspects of that can you give me one example uh, I think like in the movie uh, maybe like uh, prostitutes everywhere or uh, you know scams everywhere something like this but uh, I think it's it's not true it's only like Five percent, but they exaggerated into like ninety percent, eighty percent, something like this. Yeah. The German is an angry language. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think that's true. Yeah, uh, only it's only stereotypical, stereotypically like Schmetterling. Yeah, but it's not like that. Yeah. Why do you think that's a stereotype? Because of all the 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 Nazi movies and all the screaming in them. that uh, Poles are thieves, I guess. It's not true. Yeah, I would say the same. The Polish people are thieves. Why do you think that's a stereotype? Because in the 90s, actually, um, when Germans used to came to Poland, um, or the otherwise Polish people would come to Germany, they would steal um, some stuff as cars, radios, and now it's not we common was, anymore. We was after communism, and it, it was a tough time for our country, so maybe it was the, this this things day there, but now completely not. There are some stereotypes that Chinese people are kind of aggressive, but I don't think uh, that's the truth because uh, uh, I'm kind of nice. <laughs> so, yeah. So and I think most of the Chinese people are also very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not all about mafia for sure. My country is not corruption. <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, well, I'm gonna say one about my Catalonia. Uh, is that we are um, how are, I don't know the the word in English, but we we don't want to spend our money, and that's not true. <laughs> uh, I think about the siesta <laughs> we don't have we have no time to make siesta sometimes <laughs> actually uh, everybody say that uh, we are lazy but we are not yeah we are uh, very active people you know, so. yeah we are not lazy yeah <laughs> i would say that people are lazy but i'm not sure it's not true no it's actually not true. Uh, oh i heard that French people smell really really bad, yeah. Well, okay. they don't shower or they're, they're not, I don't know.
I would say that, but okay, it's not so true. It's not true. <laughs> We're very clean people. <laughs> for Belgium, I'm not sure. But for Belgium, they are mostly uh, seen as uh, stupid by the French people because their French is not good and by the Holland people because they haven't got the same commercial talent and um, yes, they are stupid. <laughs> um, there's a lot of bogans there. What's a bogan? Um, how would you describe a bogan? Um, like a, a feral type of person, like a... Um, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I would say, well, maybe Texas. They say a lot of Texas people are kind of rude and kind of like the hillbillies of the country, but when I lived in Texas, everyone there was pretty nice, you know, and friendly, so. Why do you think that's a stereotype? Uh, you see, like, you know, portrayed in the news a lot of times, they only show like the bad parts, you know, that's what people like watching. So when they show like people from like, you know, Texas, you know, a lot of the crazy conservative stereotypes, crazy like hillbilly people and southern people, but when I was there, people were actually really nice and friendly to you, so. That's people is racist, but they're not racist. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> There's so many. <laughs> um, one stereotype. Okay, so uh, thinking that as soon as I say I'm Palestinian or Arab, you're not wearing the hijab, you know, the veil. So yeah, that's one. <laughs> that uh, people ride on camels and not on calves in the desert. Yes, that and uh, that uh, some of the people think uh, from the newspaper about Israel that it is not nice people and it's not a uh, not right. Uh. I think, in Europeans' opinion, we have to ride camels, but <laughs> we don't have any. <laughs> yeah, not the, uh, so much religion, country, so many different people uh, believe something, but not strictly religion. We are the, uh, we were the first secular country in Europe, but they think we are so religious. Uh, the stereotype is that Czech people are drunk heads, uh, alcoholics. Well, some of them are. The Czech Republic is the first uh, among the world, all around the world, in beer consumption. That's true. But Czech people are not alcoholics. Even though they drink sometimes a lot, they are not alcoholics. <laughs> Alcoholics. And why do you say that? Because uh, people, people associate Ireland with like, you know, a lot of uh, drinking culture and pubs and like, you know, parties and stuff like that, but it's not really true, you know. Like, it used to be like that maybe 30 years ago, but like the society has moved on a lot since then, so people are, are not, they're a lot more uh, European than they are Irish, you know. So there's a lot more cultures in Ireland like you know mixed together a lot more identities there's a lot more to to offer people than that kind of lifestyle you know and it kind of like opens the world up to Irish people you know this is what this is why I find myself here you know I mean I've come back and forth here like a lot like all the time I just love it like you know just to relax and enjoy life like you know travel around a bit like you know Vietnam Bali places like that like you know and South America Mexico like, you know um, I think that's what life is all about, you know, it's like just get out there and mix with people, learn some different culture and, you know, learn something about yourself along the way, you know, like they say that if you're lost in life, it's a good thing, you know, it's, sometimes you got to lose yourself to find yourself. <laughs>